I'm gonna start quickly by saying what happened down here in Florida recently, it sucks. I feel for those families so much and I can only imagine what they're going through. I am sorry that happened to you guys, I really am. What's bugging me now though is the blame is going towards an object when it was a 19 year old's fault. A 19 year old that had the cops called on him multiple times, had medical problems, has been reported, and a system that failed. I love the way things go in this country, but that was a complete system failure on everyone's end, from the FBI down to county. They could have had this guy and those people's lives could have been saved. But they're too quick to judge a object because they think, oh, if you couldn't get the object, it wouldn't have happened. No. A criminal's still going to commit a crime. A drug addict still gets his drugs. Gangs still get around. Things still happen if people want to. A criminal doesn't care about a law. They will do what they have to do to do it. The kid had a point that day, and he did it, and it sucks again. Every single life could have been saved if a system did its thing. Now, what's really bugging me is how everyone's blaming, again, the object, the gun, an AR-15, which, even though it's said everywhere, AR means armor light, not assault rifle. It's just it's stupid, and 15 is the damn model number. It was created back in the early 60s, late 50s, okay? It's just a different type of 223, yes, that's a, that's a shooting rifle, that's magazine fed. It's semi-automatic, the same as a pistol, a Glock, and Smith & Wesson, everything that people own nowadays, it's all the same. It's just a shoulder-filed rifle. And you can use it for hunting, sports, whatever. But just like anything else, it's taken by the wrong person, it can hurt people. You can do it with a hammer, you can do it with a nail gun, you can do it with anything. But people are going up to the NRA. And I can't figure out, because that is just an association. They didn't do anything. They're the ones that are trying to defend the Constitution and the Second Amendment, mostly actually. It's, it's almost like, you know, let's go after Ford or Chevy when some guy kills someone from a drunk driving accident. Let's blame the manufacturer of the car. If they didn't make the car, it would have never happened. We should ban cars. We should ban planes because people have been killed. You know, it's such a point of finger thing that it's not the problem. It's the person. And there's one thing that I want to break down is this, this term assault rifle. Assault is a verb. You have to do it. A rifle is a noun. It's an actual object. A object can't do anything unless it's done with. It's hence someone who's assaulting somebody. So I have my AR-15 right here. Put it down. Just an object. It's just going to stand there. It's not going to do anything. Nothing. I, my hand, is the one that will put it on fire. I did that, not the gun. And I can put the gun down still, and it's not gonna do anything. I can load it right now, it's still being fired, it won't do anything until these right here pull the trigger. When a mindset of the person who does it. It's not this gun's fault, it's the person. And if they have a whole stricter thing is, we just, we already have laws to enforce this. We need to enforce them. People aren't doing their damn job. And that's what's hurting everybody. You know, we're now dealing with kids that are trying to tell us how to run a government. You know, a few weeks ago, we were trying to tell them not to eat Tide Pods. And that was brought to Congress and Tide changing their thing to make it not look like so edible, which is, I can't figure that one out. Like, I know they hurt and I know it sucks. And I wish every shooting is one too many. In every area that is gun control or banned, people still get in and they still commit crimes. Because in the day, the more you, sh you take away from the American citizens that actually abide by the law, the more you're giving to the criminals. And they're not going to stop. And I pray to God every day that we can stop this madness from these people. The left just want control. It sucks to say, but their agenda, they look at this, what happened a couple weeks ago, is a gold mine to prove what they want, which is control. They've always wanted control. This dates back to the Civil War 
when every single one of the Democratic Party voted against freeing slaves. That's not the people. They're not for the people. They're doing this to fill their agenda, and they're brainwashing people nowadays. They're brainwashing kids to win with what they want. Don't give in. I served in the Marine Corps, in the Army. I loved it. I deployed. I do it again because I love this country. I love the fact that I can own a rifle rightfully, that I can own a gun, protect myself, my family, or anyone that I love. I did it for the people, and so does many others. And everyone that wants will defend their home is doing it to protect their others. Taking power away from us creates fear by the ones that are trying to control us. We got to stop this and fight back, not physically, but very smartly. Stand up to the people that are trying to take everything away from us. It's not going to stop. But all we can do is protect those any way we can. Thanks.